Hi there. Welcome back to our video series Career in Shorts. Today, we'll be talking about how based on your background, you can transition to a data-driven profession and what skills you will need to pick up to do the same. First, let us see what you can do to make a career in DA when you are a fresher or a person with no experience. The good news is that a lot of companies tend to hire fresh college graduates and train them in-house. Now, this is because many a times they need a fresh pair of eyes without any bias to look at their business problems. As a fresher, you don't have any baggages. And the biggest advantage is that you can be molded in any way and you can fit various role types. However, if you prepare yourself beforehand, make yourself conceptually sound in statistics as well as learn relevant tools and languages to demonstrate your skill set, you will have an upper hand when it comes to landing a job. So you can start by learning about inferential statistics, hypothesis testing, machine learning algorithms and also develop an expertise in R so that you have a strong footing on the coding front also. Now let's see how to transition to data analytics when you have some work experience already. Suppose you have some experience working in a non-technical domain such as sales, operations, marketing or any other similar non-tech field. You already have strong domain knowledge of the field where you're working and you also most probably have good communication skills. You can start as a data visualizer or a data analyst. You can start by learning the applications of analytics in your domain and pick up the technical and statistical skills. You can do that through programs such as, you know, the ones offered by Upgrad and IIIT Bangalore. You can also participate in online competitions and hackathons to test your knowledge and get a solid foundation in data-driven problem solving. If you have a significant amount of experience in a non-tech field, then a great way to transition into analytics could be picking up data sets from within your current company and doing a small proof of concept to demonstrate your knowledge and the impact of analytics. You can also apply your learnings in your current role to improve your decision making on a day to day basis. For example, if you have experience, let's say in marketing, you should explore market mix modeling, which helps marketeers optimize marketing spends across channels. Similarly, if you have experience in sales, you can look at lead scoring to help understand which of the leads are more interested in you. Look at it this way. DA is an extremely powerful tool in your arsenal. Use it to make more informed decisions and data-driven decisions within your own existing domain. Now let us discuss how to make a career in DA with technical working experience. If you have tech experience in let's say software engineering, that is you are an IT professional, then you certainly have a big advantage because you already have the programming experience required and most likely some domain experience also. All you need to do is pick up statistical knowledge to become a complete data professional in your own domain. With this background, a data engineering role would be the easiest for you to switch to because it requires good knowledge of data structures and programming languages. If statistics is something that excites you, then a business analyst or a data analyst role is also worth considering because these roles require a lot of applications of analytics and statistics. But some skills that people from technical domains might lack is presentation of data and good communication skills. If this is the case, then you should definitely focus on honing your soft skills as well as obtain a mastery of tools like Excel or Tableau, which will complement your presentation abilities. These days, most of the IT companies have some sort of analytics opportunities or the other. If you have technical experience, then the best scenario for you would be to look for DA roles within your current company and transition within your own organization. Now let's talk about the case when you have consulting experience. Now consulting experience can be thought of as the exact opposite of technical experience. You have good business understanding and know how to present data, but you might lag a bit on the technical front. Depending upon your strengths and inclinations, you can either choose to be a data scientist, a data analyst, or even a BI professional. If you are strongly inclined towards statistics, then a data analyst role is recommended to you. Depending upon your strengths and inclinations, you can choose to go for either a data scientist role, a data analyst role, or a BI professional role. Let's take the example of a banking and financial services professional. A person working in the banking industry 
will already have a firm grasp on how credit cards work. All he would need to do to make sure that he is able to transition into the analytics domain in the banking industry is to understand how the data that is gathered as part of you know credit card transactions and KYC forms can be used to avoid delinquencies and to make sure that credit cards are extended only to the right set of customers. In addition to these skills, you also need to gain knowledge of programming languages and mathematics to fit yourself in any one of these roles. So to summarize, when you're thinking about transitioning to a data-driven profession, experience is a huge asset for you, on top of which you might have to acquire technical skill sets and statistical know-how. With this, we now come towards the end of this segment, where we discuss how you can transition from your background to analytics. In case if you have any more questions, please write to us at analytics at the rate upgrad and we'll make sure to reply to them. Till then, it is Rohit Sharma, Program Director at Upgrad, signing off.